Hi there and welcome to the fifth episode of Q&A in C. After a short break of one month, it is finally time again to answer your questions. And at the end of the episode, also crown the top three comments of the month. But before we start though, make sure to watch these nine videos of mine. Otherwise, you might not understand the context of certain questions. Okay, let's get started. Daniel asks, how is everything going with your study and such? Well, I just finished the second semester for my Master of Science degree and next week I will start working in a University of Applied Science in order to write my Master thesis. So in a nutshell, everything goes according to plan. Danielson asks, what is the best place to get electronic components in Germany? And Blue Fandom Miet did answer with eBay, which I do agree with. But if you're looking for a German online store for electronics, then I can also recommend Reichelt and Völkner. The comment section asks, is your workbench always so clean? I can't keep mine clean for more than an hour. Don't worry, my workbench only looks clean in the videos. If I work on a project and do some prototyping, then it can get quite messy. But that is a pretty common thing when it comes to electronics. Kepin asks, what your shooting video gear? Sorry, my English bad. I used to record my footage with the Canon EOS 700D until I recently upgraded to a Canon EOS 80D, which I'm using right now so I can show you. Additionally, I'm also using pretty common tripods, nothing special. Woods Venden Rex asks, which lights do you use for your videos and do you ever want to live stream? I use those GU10 LED bulbs in my ceiling lamp and this rather beefy 50W E27 bulb in my softbox. I also did not plan any live streams yet, simply because I think that I do not have an interesting subject that is worth streaming. But if you have any ideas, feel free to write them in the comment section below. The comment section says, a bit of Loctite, lol. I guess a bit means the opposite in German. I get your point and I do agree that I overdid it with the Loctite. I will be more careful next time. Niesel asks, what about that drone? And Simon asks, when will you make a PCB milling video with your CNC? To those both questions, I have the same answer. The video will come out when it's done. I'm not a machine that produces video after video without getting tired of a subject. Sometimes I don't feel like working on a specific video or a particular project. But that does not mean that the video will never come out. Just be patient and enjoy the videos that I produce at the moment. And the last question is from Harvey, who asks, what is your view on smart electronics and also view on Apple products? I think smart Wi-Fi products can be very useful, especially when it comes to home security and everything related to it. But then again, there are smart washing machines and fridges, which basically overcomplicate a lot of things and are for the most part unnecessary. And my opinion about Apple products can be found in some of my older videos. But as a summary, I would say that a $500 fee for a logo is a pretty hot pill to swallow. Okay, let's move on to the top three comments of the month. Number three comes from many different viewers, who all say that salvaging from an old 3D printer sounds rather weird, which I do agree with. But I used to have two 3D printers, so technically one of them was the old one and the other one was the new one. Number two comes from AdFacts, who says, a German guy uploading outside of his normal schedule. The world as we know it is coming to an end. Who doesn't love stereotypes? But seriously though, if I upload two videos a week, it's always Wednesday and Sunday. So it was according to my schedule. And the number one comment of the month is from Leisure Time, who says, Piper, motor, wire, no hate, but it sounds funny. Well, I always try to integrate a bit of fun in my videos. So I guess I succeeded. And with that being said, let's end this video here. I hope you liked it, stay creative and I will see you next time.